Hey YouTube, I'm not a real YouTuber, but I'm gonna record a vlog with just my day here in Panama to let you guys know how it really be. Cause some of y'all got assumptions or maybe you wanna move here, but you don't really know what it's like. I'm gonna give y'all all the info, all the little 41010s, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna put you on. I'm gonna put you on to a real day in life of Panama. And this is in Panama City, by the way. This is like the interior Panama. So this is exclusive access right here because I don't know too many people from America living in the interior. I feel like I'm really the only American here sometimes. Like, it just, I just stick out like that. But yeah, we're gonna record a vlog today. When I woke up this morning, little quick side note, I had to clean my house like, when I walked outside of my room and I looked at my house, it just, ugh, like it just, it didn't reflect the bad bitch I was trying to be today. So like, something had to change. Something had to change, something had to go. I started sweeping, cleaning the stove, washing dishes. Even though I don't like to keep a lot of dishes in my sink like that fruit, I had to like, I had to do a cleanse in my house. It just, all the bad energy had to go. And new vibes starting today. That's just what we're gonna be on. But anyways, I'm gonna go wash my face. And yeah. My shoes, by the way, aren't they so cute? Stylish and cheap. They're like five bucks at the little tienda de chino. <laughs> All right, so that was me cleaning my face. It didn't go exactly how I wanted it to go because I didn't have my, damn sure. <laughs> it didn't go exactly how I wanted to go because I didn't have my foaming wash. I usually always use a foaming wash in the morning, like a little light scrub and then a foaming wash to like just get everything where it should be. But ever since Punk TSA, snatched my um foamy wash i had a good one too it was it was from riley rose oh lord knows i love riley rose and i had to surrender it because it was over three ounces oh i was so mad but anyway that was a little side note i'm about to get ready head out go into la ciudad de santiago so coming up here we have a little bus stop that's like a three four minute walk away from my house not that far away one thing let me tell you about panama honey it is not like america if you step out to where a car can possibly hit you they will hit you and they don't care like they don't they don't, they don't have not zero, one, two, three, not five cares in the world if they hit you. And then you get that, like, just random cars honking at you. Kind of weird. But, yep, yeah, now I just wait in this little spot for my bus to arrive. That says Espino de la Rosa Santiago. And I take that shit. <laughs> Buses here are usually pretty good with arriving within a certain amount of time. There's no schedule here. It's it's not like a regular bus stop. You just got to come and take a bus where you see a bus. And then hopefully that may be your bus. And then sometimes the buses may not stop. It all depends how the bus driver is feeling. And you just got to roll with it and just... 
No te preocupes, just keep going. So this is what the bus looks like. You just leave it down. And it's up. <laughs> There's no like real system to this. Ride it all the way into town to the bus transit. The bus usually has air conditioning, so that's a good thing. Sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it does. It's pretty good about that. telling people directions to things so yeah making this vlog is like really putting me out of my element because I usually like to stay like to myself I don't like to draw too much attention to myself but as you see a lot of people are staring so yep just gonna walk up there's a lot of kids out right now I mean like school just got out it's about like around 12 right now I guess school ended early on a Friday and los viernes where is this guy? They sell bread here. This is where if you want to go somewhere, this is where you go first. Y'all know me, you know I love fashion, whatever. So you may be wondering why I'm not wearing makeup. I'll tell you why. It is hot as hell in Panama. Like literally the hottest place I have ever been to. Jamaica wasn't even this hot. This is hot. Like this is just dripping in sweat. You gotta deal with it type of heat. Like look at this, just, just sweat just coming off of my face. I take like two, three showers a day. Cause that's how much you sweat here. But one thing you'll notice a lot here is that people, like Las Personas de Panama, they work very hard. Like the jobs that they do are back-breaking jobs. And man, like there's some hard workers. I couldn't do half the jobs they do here in Santiago. There's some hard effing workers here. Finally, this guy arrives. Say hello. Now we are on our way Well, this is already like main town, but we take another bus to go like deeper, deeper into the city. Because driving here is not safe. Like 
you can literally lose your life trying to drive. So I guess that was like a little rap battle I just walked upon. Pretty cool stuff, couldn't understand most of it, but I got the gist. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool. <laughs> Right now, right now we're in the supermarket and we're getting stuff for tacos. This is like the signature soda here. I'm telling you. If you don't know about Kiss, baby, you ain't doing it right. But you'll see like over there. Ooh, tortillas. Tortilla, tortilla. Wait, are they weak? I do not. I do not like tacos like that's that's nasty it's nasty I don't, I don't want that this is floater 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 but they're 259 for 20 mini tacos boy you done lost show damn mind All right, feel like I got everything I need for my tacos. I had to like put my hair up because I couldn't do it no more. Like it is just too hot and I just could not take it. I thought I was really gonna die back there. Like what is one thing you don't see here and I've literally looked there so this is like the what the mangoes look like. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're not like mangoes in America. They taste nothing like, absolutely nothing like the mangoes in America. It's more like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. But they're not the same. They're not the same. Okay, it is. Still don't know what Agua Dulce is. It's gonna be a forever mystery. Now, and everything's in Spanish, by the way. So if you don't know Spanish, you are behind on the learning curve. Oh my gosh, they have it! What is this called? What is this called? I don't even know. I gotta look this up later. But thank God they have this so I don't have to go anywhere else. Ow! Keys! I can just pick it up shit. <laughs> I don't even really know what things are. I just pick it up. And I'm like, hey, if it tastes good, we can eat it. And I bet you it tastes bomb. And you guys know what Donna this is? Break out. Still getting used to everything. But, yeah. This side of this case. 
Look at that. Isn't that so cool? It's a hot, hot, uh, paper. Serious? Yeah. Ah, ah, okay, okay. Um, no, 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 no. Wait, tienes aguacate. Si. Sí. Si sí, ellos tienes aguacate, yo puedo cocinar avocado. No, no, my bad. Guacamole. What is the avocado? Guacamole. All right. You'll notice like every supermarket has like different things. Like you need to go to different places for different things. It's not all gonna be in the same spot. And that's what I had to like get used to. And you gotta look, cause ain't nobody know where shit is. <laughs> and see like, there's something that like, So it is now about like 7 o'clock. I got back a little bit earlier, but boy, I was so tired. Like that heat really knocks you out. Like I'm still a little bit tired. That heat really exhausts you to the fullest of the fullest, girlfriend. That's Santiago heat. But yeah, that is gonna be my vlog for my little trip to the grocery store. Tell me what you think. Bye.